first off, no two days are exactly the same. However, you'd be surprised how many people I talk to in a typical day. So often what I'll do is I'll stack meetings in the morning or I'll, I'll block them off because I firmly believe in having a tranche of like a, a block of time where you're working on one thing so that you're not multitasking and running around. And so I'll typically have meetings. So I'll be meeting with like an ambassador and then I'll be meeting with the director of a lab and then I'll be meeting with the team and then I'll be meeting with a medical device distributor. And these meetings, they might be in person. So I'll have someone where I'm like, oh, I gotta change my outfit. It's like a, you know, a dressy outfit for the ambassador. But then, oh, I'm meeting with that director of a lab. I gotta change into my lab coat. So, you know, I'm constantly running, doing a change of clothes and then, I'll typically, I'll have days where after those meetings, I either have an office day where I'm just sitting in front of my computer. And you know, as an engineer who's in a, a level of leadership, as the co-founder and CEO, often I have my days split between communicating with people and sharing what work has been done. And I communicate, you know, I'll be drafting reports and emails and just responding. And I'm the queen of paperwork, how we got through our patents and our FDA filing. That was all paperwork, you know, so much paperwork. Or I'll be reading, I'll be reading, you know, business articles, technology articles. Who's my direct competitor? What are they doing? What is their technology about? So I'll be doing a lot of reading when I'm doing my office work. In addition, I'll be trying to motivate the team, trying to learn where are they with their, you know, their key activities and their progress. On the flip side, so let's say I have a day where I'm in the production floor. So that's when I'm, you know, I'm in hiking shoes and I'm wearing typically, you know, either pants or like my lab coat and my hair is back and I'm welding. So I have a, you know, 30,000 pounds of equipment and I'm in front of this giant, you know, eight foot tall welder. She is beautiful. Bertha welds the exterior of the pack. So I'll literally be welding packs, putting clickers in, and then I'll fill. I use, I, I fill, you know, every single one of these warming packs when I'm doing a production day. So I'll boil all the stuff that goes inside the pack and then do a hot fill. And then I do a final weld on one of our other machines. And I'll be running around and it's like, I'm trying to check, make sure all the packs have the right level of quality. And that's what a typical day is like. And I'll typically be playing live loud music <laughs> and I'll be listening to the hum of sewing machines because we have a team of seamstresses. So typically when I'm welding, you hear the kerchunk, kerchunk of our welding and then you hear sewing, the humming of a sewing machine. <laughs>